Nobody's saying that, right? Who's the dude? Who's the dude? New Everybody, dude. hey, first off, welcome to Streaming Live Sundays. I got and something very exciting to show you. Somebody very exciting to show you, okay? First off, thanks for watching. Every Sunday at 9 a.m. right here um, is Streaming Sundays, right? We do fun things. We go different places in the world, okay? So what's going on with this dude? Why am I wearing all this swag? I could wear that. Plus, I could wear the baseball cap, <laughs> right? Really cool, distressed baseball cap. We got the t-shirts. Uh, the skull cap's my favorite. You gotta love it, look at that, right? Especially if you don't have much hair like me. <laughs> Hi. Stay Hi. warm, stay warm. Huh? Stay warm. Stay warm, and so here's the t-shirt. So why am I bringing that up? Well, it has to do with this little dude. Okay. Who's the new dude? All right. So what's the story, everybody? Look how gorgeous. First of all, look how gorgeous. See how dark the, the, the shell is, right? So look at this guy or girl. Okay. What's the story? Nobody knows yet. I did do a short. The other Good morning, night. Tracy Wells. Tracy Wells. You rock, Tracy. I love you. I love how you comment and watch and please people comment and let me know what you like and don't like. So this is really cool. You're all going to like this. This guy has no name. So his name right now is no name. Okay. I think it's a girl. So it could be her name. What's the story? Yes, Suzanne? What is the story? Okay. I get a call like three nights ago. All right. From a good Samaritan guy that I never met. Lives about 40 miles away in the city of Whittier. Whittier, California. All right. He found out about me through a friend of his who's, uh, you know, who knows me somehow or of me. And, and he found this little no name dude in the alley behind his house. And then there's an alleyway because I went and checked after when I got him. So in an alleyway, he heard rustling in some boxes. Okay. And what did he find? Lo and behold, Tracy says he's cute. Right. Look at that right? guy. Look, Look at, at that so, guy. So, you know, so, so the good Samaritan sent me pictures, you know, and because the shell is so dark and it was kind of nighttime, I thought right away, oh, it's a red foot, you know, because red foot, of course, is kind of shade on the red. But, you know, on closer examination, it's not. Remember Shelly, the 80 pound tortoise? Max. Marie Stubbs says hi, gang. No, Marie Stubbs. We, we got exciting things, and we're gonna limit our our our, our live stream to 15 minutes today. Let me got, know, everybody, if you like that or don't like that. Suzanne, camera woman, suggested that we put a limit on it so that people know it's 15 minutes. Do you like that idea or not? Okay, so look, here's Max, my beloved 30 pound, 30 pound, 110 pound African sulcata. So what is this dude? African sulcata. Okay, so why the swag, you ask, Maria <laughs> and Marie and, 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 and Tracy and everybody? Well, because we're having a naming contest, okay? So this beautiful boy, girl, I think it's a girl, precious one, how about precious, came to me through a good Samaritan, okay? So so he entrusted me, and uh, and so now this, this, this kid is here. No, it's an African sulcata, so he's gonna get big. He's gonna get big, real big. So we want to, while this dude is here, we'll do that, we want to have a naming contest. Marie Stubbs says the longer the better. Ah, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you guys rock and ladies rock. I love you so much. Um, uh, and, and so, so we're having a naming contest, okay? So we're gonna do it for one week or two weeks, Suzanne? We're gonna say one week, okay? So here's the deal. You guys all watching, and I'll be reminding people during the week with some shorts. Um, uh, we're gonna do a naming contest, okay? Who is the best name for this lucky dude, dudette? I'm lucky because because he came to me and they, I was entrusted with this beautiful creature, okay? So the name it because what do you get for the best name? I'm gonna say the, the only information found in an alley looks to me to be about. Uh, Rocky and Piper still sleeping. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Rocky was, wants nothing to do with the live streams. It's so funny, right? Finish the camera and he's out here. And Piper's out here sometimes. So, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, and one thing. Check the video that came out at 8 a.m. this morning. It's pretty cool. Yes, an albino baby tortoise was born in, right here in Tortoise Land. Suzanne got to hold yeah. the kid. And that story is coming. As well as, check out the video. It's pretty cool. Okay, went to Maui, swam with sea turtles, it's all 
coming, okay? Okay, so so what are you gonna win for getting the best name? Found in an alley, looks to me to be about two years old, maybe a year and a half, is at the point, looks healthy, got some more, you know, pyramiding, maybe it wasn't, was fed maybe too much proteins, you know, which will give the, the pyramiding at such a young age. Um, and uh, so the best name, guess what? So found an alley in the, in the city of Whittier that may have something or nothing to do. So far, pretty shy, but definitely coming out of her shell. Oh, Marie watched it and loved it. Huh? Marie watched it already and loved it. Oh, did she? Isn't that cool? It's how this place started and, and before the murals just came in and before we are now a nonprofit. So we're gonna talk about that. Okay, so, okay, so naming contest. So best name. So you have till Friday, Saturday morning. Okay, how about that? So the best name is going to win your choice, okay, of fabulous Toys Guy t-shirt, fabulous distressed hat, <laughs> or I love the skull cap, okay? So best name is going to get that, okay? So so put your names in. Uh, put your comment. You want to put in your comment how I can reach you, too. Give me an email address, okay? Marie's so, commenting how far you've come. Who said that? Marie. Right? Yeah. Marie? That's why it's so special. There's a certain people, Tracy, Marie, and Kat, you know, um, a lot of people. And, and then recently... The Tracy story... watched it as well. Yeah, what Tracy think? Was, she said it was great. Isn't it pretty cool? She so, loved it. I'm working on the Maui stuff now. Maui! What does Maui and sea turtles have to do with these guys? Well, a whole lot. Watch the video and find out. Okay? You're approaching seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes. So guess what? So best name in contest. So be sure to put your email address, whatever you want to put in the in the comment so I can reach you. Okay? And uh, so next Sunday, right, Suzanne, we are going to announce the winner. the winner. So look at so right now, here's the thing. Like I talked about before, who's this little guy? Oh, okay, baby Sheldon brings up an important thing about swag and contributions, right? Who's this gorgeous Carrie, right? Who's now growing about three years old, gorgeous leopard tortoise. Look at how amazingly well she's growing. Her shell's nice and pretty flat. That's an indicator, low protein, high fiber diets, everybody. And of course, dwarf tortoise, beautiful girl. A name Bean, right? Beautiful girl. She's lumpy like this because she was born that way. She was born that way. She was born uh, challenged, right? We went into that story. And this dude is doing really good, okay? So, okay, the naming contest is what I want to tell you, okay? The naming contest, you win the swag, all right? What? Now, here's the exciting stuff I want to tell you guys. Sheldon wants to tell you guys. A lot of people <laughs> have expressed, we're going to use Sheldon as a little prop. A lot of people have expressed interest in helping out here, helping out financially, right? Because it costs a lot of money. This little boy, our, you know, it, money doesn't matter when it's saving a tortoise for me, you know, right? And this guy's been going to the vet twice a week for eight months and he gets syringe. Milk. So, you know, there's a lot of expenses there. So what does that have to do with the swag and all that? Well, this is what it has to do. Okay, we're gonna keep you right here, honey. Okay, what it has to do is that we could use your help. So very exciting, we started a Patreon account. I didn't even know what Patreon was really, okay? I'm learning everything. Patreon is a way that, that you out there, if you wanna help and actually be a subscriber and a member, that you go here, patreon.com slash the tortoise guy, and you're gonna see really cool. There's a $1 tier, a $5 tier, $10 tier, and a $25 tier. We'll add tiers as people give us, uh, you know, give feedback, right? What do you get for that? We'll check it out, okay? You get like a live stream uh, once a month, uh, a mug, a t-shirt, just stuff, stuff, depending on the tiers. Totally open to everybody's comments on like the best way to do it or what you like to get, but it's a membership. So, you know, so go there, check it out, okay? And what I want to say is the nonprofit that we have, Tortoise Land, is a separate entity from Tortoise Guy, but it's related. So like 5% of the, of the, you're going to be able to buy this stuff on the website, okay? So that's coming too, all right? Okay? And 5% and of the sales of this stuff will go towards the nonprofit Tortoise Land, okay? So, so you understand. Okay, everybody, so that's that stuff. So how cool is this? Little boy's waking up. Tiny Green is over there, okay? We're gonna put him here. Here's an important thing. Because this guy's new, he's isolated right now from the other tortoises, right? Like I talked about before. You get a new tortoise coming in, 
I don't know if he might have, he or she, it's no name, remember? Naming contest, right? If no name might have a respiratory illness, something, a cold, right? Um, pneumonia. And if I put him in with the other guys, um, there's a chance that it will be transferred. And when you got a little baby like this dude who's, you know, been, been challenged from day one, can't risk that. So you get a new tortoise, you want to keep him isolated, all right? He's already, he wouldn't come out of the shell before, but he is. Okay, so look at, I want to do a couple more things here with you all. 15 minutes goes fast. You're at 10 and a half already. 10 and a half minutes! Okay, all right. So look at dude, he's doing great. Hi, dude. Okay, so I want to remind you guys of a couple things. So you remember Lucky? Do you remember Lucky, everybody? It's a pretty cool story and a really cool playlist. Look at it, it's called Lucky, okay? Lucky, before Shelly came into the picture, the 80 pound uh, aggressive, you know, rescue tortoise, Shelly came into the picture, Lucky, I got a call from uh, from a friend that works at a pet store, owns a pet store, and somebody dumped this beautiful tortoise at the gate. So there's a whole cool playlist called Lucky, where I live streamed the whole thing. And what happened? Three days later, this gentleman, Mike, Mike, a friend of mine, McVeigh, who I was gonna adopt some tortoises out to, said I will take her. He renamed her Lucy. Oh. Lucy, I love it. So I'm like, how about Lucky Lucy? So Lucy has been in Palm Springs with Mike. Mike built a whole, a whole habitat for her. So what's happening next Sunday, Saturday? Driving out to Palm Springs, and we are gonna check up on uh, Lucy, see the habitat he built so you guys can learn too. And not only that, guess what? I'd like to bring you a Lucy a companion. Ooh. Because he said Lucy's, I believe, like, if you got one tortoise, have a second tortoise. They give each other, just like dogs or whatever, right? So that's my philosophy. So, and he's done an amazing job. So, anyways, another tortoise will be going out visiting. Which, visiting, which one? Which saying, one? Which one? Who's it going to be? You gotta watch the video, girl. Okay? <laughs> so that's that. So that's coming. That's Lucy. If you haven't seen the playlist, check it out. Okay? Little update pill, people wanna know. Shelly! Amazing Shelly! If you haven't seen the video, it's all in the playlist. Abandoned huge tortoise Shelly. Okay? Shelly, remember this? So, right two weeks ago, where did Shelly go? Got adopted to an eight, no, what is it? Oh. 30 acre ranch. Marie's looking forward to the update on Lucy. A red, me too, yeah. me too. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. So, here's the cool thing when people adopt tortoises, right? It's important to know I don't just like willy nilly adopt out. That's not the way it works, right? People have to sign something, they have to guarantee me that that the tortoise, if it doesn't work out, comes back to me. I don't sell tortoises. I don't buy tortoises. I don't do that here, okay? All right, so here's Shelly. Look at it. So, so Frank, Frankie, who took the, who took Shelly with his two kids on this 30-acre horse ranch, here's a picture. Shelly right away started digging, you know, and, and so, so we're gonna update. I'm gonna go visit Shelly in about two weeks. How about that? So that's that. Wanna, I just wanna remind everybody, we have our first celebrity, a queen, uh, Amy Aquino, okay, from uh, Falcon and the Snowman. Snowman, is that right? Huh? Forgive me, Amy. And uh, Bosch, you know, all kinds of stuff. She came and visited. She's super cool, super fun. Suzanne loves her. Love her. There's a video there. All right, everybody. Manny, come in. Come on. Almost 14 Manny, minutes. Manny, what are we doing today? We're very excited. Wait, we're going to show everybody. Come on. What are we going to do? We've been wanting to do this for a while. Manny, like Suzanne, he's my life. He's like my right hand man, right? Yeah. And he's going to bed. It looks <laughs> nice. Good. It looks okay. nice. So don't hate, don't hate for what it looks like right now. Come here, everybody. Okay. So you know, Toys Land has been in the works since you're, May 15th. You're 14 minutes. 14 minutes. We're gonna wrap up. Okay. So this looks like a train wreck, but guess what? It looks like a garage. Yeah, it is, but it doesn't, right? Come here, come here. It's not because it's right, Manny. No. Nope. Because right now everything's positive, but it's not. It's already. Look at, we got a hay, everything. All this stuff's coming out because why? Why? Look at here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, Suzanne. Look at here. What do we got here? Oh my God. Okay. We got lights. We got everything. We're having a green screen. Look, see, these are all the colors of the logo. He is shy, Tracy. What's that? Tracy's made a comment. What do you say? That Manny seems shy. Oh, shy. Yeah. Shy baby. guy. Got the shy yes, girl. Yeah, got the shy cool, guy. Because I make up for I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Come here. Come here. <laughs> no, he's up. Because without these guys, 
I can't do it, right? Seriously. And if you live in LA and, and can help and volunteer or, or go to the Patreon, you can't be there, what can you do? Patreon.com slash the tortoise guy. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We're going to wrap it up. So what's over here, you guys? The incubator, right? I love two the egg incubator. Two eggs, red food eggs from Big Mama. Tracy likes the green fridge. Ah, well, that's right. Thank you. I like the green fridge, too. So this, so the goal today, by the end of today, what, man? What's going to happen? Clean this up, make it into an office. This is going to, not the office, the tourist guy workshop. You want to see that green screen and these lights? So we're going to do cool things like come in here and the green screen behind me and say, let's talk about that albino tourist. There it is. So many cool things. Here's the eggs. Can you see, Suzanne? I don't want to touch them. I don't want to disturb them. There's three eggs. Okay, they're in the incubator where they'd be kept about 85 degrees because 80 degrees would be boys, 90 degrees would be girls. So keep it in the middle. Maybe they'll hatch, maybe they won't. It's Big Mama the Red Foot. She laid about 40 eggs, none of them hatch. Maybe Ooh. she's not fertile. I don't know, but we're gonna try it with this one. Okay, back out, we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Suzanne rocks, everybody rocks, okay? okay. New dude. Look at this dude, huh? Okay, so let's see. What? Oh, here's the other thing. So on Patreon, it's a it's a it's a monthly commitment. It's only three month commitment. So if you do a dollar, five dollars, whatever, you can at three months you can you know you can you can end it. We hope you won't, right? But okay. But some people are like, hey, I don't want to do that. I want to give a one time commitment. So where can you do that? Go fund me. Go fund me the police guy. Okay. If you want to make a one time commitment, go there. We would love it. You know, um, it would help us. And what, what last thing do I want to say, everybody? I wrote it down. What's happening? Check out the video that dropped this morning, eight o'clock. I'm really proud of it. It's how this all began. Like, like, like Maria said, Marie said, it's pretty cool, okay? Been doing this for 20 years. It started just from a love of it, you know? And then it was like, this year it was like, you know, just, just keep going with it and make a nonprofit. And stuff, you know. So make it official of what I've been doing anyway. Because these guys are not gonna make it in the wild if we don't do something, right? Come here, these guys. There's a tortoise, like like Sheldon, critically endangered. I mean, right? You know, and, and, you know, we caused it. We take their land. We, you know, we take their land. We take them, their shells. You know, right? For ornaments and stuff. And 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 when you already have nine out of ten, don't make it. So adulthood, that's just the way it is. And for 200 million years, it worked fine because there were enough of them born. But now it doesn't. Now it doesn't work fine. These guys are getting destroyed by crows in the deserts, right? There were no crows before, but we came, took their land, trash, water, crows. They just peck up, even if you're a full grown, right? So anyway, so that's my love of of this guy is to get people and kids excited about how cool these guys are, how they've been around so long, right? Because now, without man, they did great. With us, they're not, they're not gonna make it. Unless we change our way, right? Unless we change our way. Global warming, those eggs you just saw, all, all, the, all, the, all the babies being born are fem born female across the world. Check it out, don't pick me. Go Google, go to the news, you'll see. All the eggs being born are females. All wrapped up. So, how are we gonna fix it, right? Okay, so. It's been great, everybody. Let's wrap it up with this. This is a desert tortoise. This is a leopard tortoise, right? Beautiful from Gorgeous. Africa, you know? Also, also endangered, unfortunately, because why everybody wants the shells and stuff and you know, not good. So what's it what's the, what's the theme today? Who's this who's this and what's his name or her name? New dude. Ah, she says new dude. So new I dude. say no name because no there's name. no name. So it's up to you guys. To pick a name, look at it. We'll give a nice close examination. Hi, little so, guy. So much, uh, much out of her shell. I think it's a girl, see? Sometimes you can tell. The more V the shape here on the plastron and the smaller the tail you and the flatter, then that's usually a girl. But I have been wrong so many times. Like with Javi over there. Check out the videos. Two weeks, two months ago, I see that it's not a boy. She's not a boy. Okay, so name it, name it, and win some great swag. Go to patreon.com, help us out, and guess what? Goodbye. Stay tuned for next week, and, and Suzanne says goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Boom. Maybe if I can close it. You got it.
No, I just turned it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you go like this. We go like this. Oh, <laughs> you flipped it around. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody.